Mount Williams through to the final here at the Johnston's Paint Tour Championship with a 10-5 win over Mark Allen. 9 nil up, he came back to 9-5. Were you worried? Um, yeah, a little bit. Um, you know, I had a couple of chances, I think, to win 9-1, maybe 9-2, and, you know, he played really well after that. He's making some good breaks. And obviously, he come back to 9-5, so if he makes another one for him, visit is 9-6, and I'm really under it then. But I made... Um, the break I made to finish her off was as good as any break I made all for the match, to be honest. And you know, it's nice to know when you are coming back and you've still got, you know, um, the balls, I suppose, to, to to make a good clearance yourself. The first session, I mean, you went in eight nil. <coughs> you must have been feeling amazing. Yeah, unbelievable. Like, you know, my safety was really good. My, my breaks were really good. My long pot in, and and you know, if I didn't win a frame in one visit. Uh, I had him in bang, tr bang in trouble behind a boat car or a tight cush. I mean, I must have had three, three or four centuries, I think, in the game. I could have easily have had six or seven, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, over the moon to get over the line in the end. Mark seemed quite happy as well, strangely. He was having pictures with people in the arena at the end of the <coughs> session. And I spoke to him afterwards, and he wasn't really down about it. He just said, You played that well, that there wasn't a lot he could do. Yeah, I, I don't think, I mean, you know, I think he had one chance he was clearing up, but he missed a blue, a tricky blue. I think apart from that, I think a lot of the frames, he was just never in them. Uh, I was potting long ones, breaks, tying him up really in knots. And uh, normally it's the other way around. Mark, Mark can, last time I played him, he tied me up in knots and he was knocking one, four, sixes and hundreds all the time. So it's nice to do it back, you know. You can see the respect out there. It was played in a, a good atmosphere, I think, between the two of you. you know, like, so Mark didn't ever get down about it. We saw you, did you lend him some sandpaper to sort his tip out at one point as well? You've clearly got a lot of respect for each other. <coughs> yeah, I mean, most players have got respect for each other, you know. If you know, it's, I'm not going to not let him any sandpaper. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, uh, yeah. We, we always play in, in good spirit, you know. I try my best. He tries my best, his best. If if he beats me, I always shake his hand and say, "Best of luck in the final. Hope we win it." And that's what he said to me. You know, it's, he don't often say it to me because he keeps beating me. But uh, I, I'm the one always, you know, wishing him all the best in the final. And, you know, he, he's wished me the same. Have we been watching two of the genuine crucible prospects this evening? Uh, you've definitely been watching one. He's more than capable of winning it. Myself, who knows? That's for other people to say. Mark, 23 years, three months, and 20 days ago, can we fix it by Bob the Builder was number one? Huh. <laughs> so 17th of December, the year 2000, 24 years ago almost, is the last time you played Ronnie O'Sullivan in a ranking event final. Yeah. How is that even possible? <laughs> <laughs> because he keeps beating me before the finals, that's why. <laughs> You know, we keep bumping into each other in the semis, I should imagine. And um, yeah, it's a long time. I mean, I think someone said it's three finals, two one to him or something. So, look, I'm just going to enjoy it. How many more times is this going to happen? Um, I couldn't have picked a better player to play in a final, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to attack and try my best. And that's what we love about your game. Mark, all the best for tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.